And there's something to be said when it comes to those glowy, dewy foundations on oily skin. I feel like, hey guys, so on today's video, we are going to be putting to the test the new Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy Foundation. But before we get started, if you guys are new to this channel, hi, my name is Alex. And on this channel, I typically do a lot of foundation reviews. Everything kind of revolves around oily skin. So if you guys are interested in things like that, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you. And yeah, let's get started with this video. Alright, so it says to be weightless, super nourishing, natural, all-day wear, silky, creamy coverage, easily buildable from medium to full, ideal for normal to dry skin types, blurs imperfections, and helps minimize the appearance of pores for a perfectly smooth, dewy finish. It comes in 20 shades. I know you guys probably noticed it says ideal for normal to dry skin types. I do have combination oily skin. We're definitely going to put this to the test on our skin. Uh, but like I said, I've been loving more natural foundations. And if a dewy foundation works on my skin, I would like to let you guys know because I'm sure many of us are kind of steering away from just excessively matte foundations. Don't get me wrong, I still enjoy them for events and stuff like that. But for normal everyday use, I would like something less heavy so i know if you guys saw my recent video the born to glow foundation worked perfectly fine i have used the maybelline dewy foundation that one wore nicely on my skin and there's something to be said when it comes to those glowy dewy foundations on oily skin i feel like oily skin welcomes them because then your skin is not overworking itself to produce oil the way that it is when it has a matte drying foundation over it. So hopefully that makes sense to you guys. Don't be scared to use things like that on your skin. And if you are scared, then that's where I come in. I test these things for you guys. And if it doesn't work out, then I'll let you guys know. So we're going to put this one to the test. Like I said, I got my shade in golden beige. This is what the packaging looks like right here. Very similar to the original. And if you open it up, it has the same applicator, which I'm not a fan of. It feels like I'm smacking my face with a spatula, but I'm gonna do a quick swatch through of this foundation. There's a foundation right there. Like I said, it's in the shade Golden Beige. I think it's gonna work. All right, let's prep the face. I'm gonna spray the Pacifica Pineapple Flower Oil Free Matte Mist. And then for this foundation, I'm actually gonna use the One Heck of a Blot Primer. We'll put a little bit. And I mainly concentrate this on my T-zone. But mainly on my nose, because my nose is like the number one thing that gets oily. And then like above my eyebrows, I'll start getting a little oily. So here and here is usually where I put it on. I'm going to use the applicator to apply it directly on my face. A little bit of that and then some here. Oh, I think that's a lot. It's really nice. I like the finish. It's a little bit more dewy than the Born to Glow for sure, but I'm liking it so far. It actually reminds me of the, maybe I shouldn't say this because I, did, I ended up not liking that foundation, but I loved the way that foundation looked. The Pacifica A Light Foundation. I loved how it went on. The way that it looked, I liked, and this is how it looks right now, like this dewy one. And this one feels extremely lightweight, like you can't really feel. And it actually doesn't feel tacky 
right now that I'm feeling it. It doesn't really feel tacky. I am going to set it though because obviously oily skin. We're going to set it. The shade actually is working really well too. For concealer, I'm going to use this again. I, I keep using it. Yesterday I used it on its own and just set it with powder and it's beautiful. So I got mine in the shade True Beige. So we're going to put a little bit of that. And I've liked blending it out with this brush. This is the AOA Studio F19 brush. Blend it away like that and then I'll just kind of tap it with a sponge after that. Alright, and I'm just going to go in with the sponge and tap away anything that was left behind. I'm going to set the face with the number 7, this is the number 7 translucent perfect light powder. Just dab a little bit of this underneath the eye. Alright, next I'm taking the number 7 powder. This is their Triple Action Lift and Luminate in the shade Medium. It's an awesome powder to set with. I think even if you have like dry skin, you'll like it. Oh, I just poked my eye. Oh, I hate when that happens. Because it's probably going to cry for the next 10 minutes. Hopefully now, finger crossed. For bronzer, I'm going to go into this palette right here. I made it. This is like... It's just like a Z palette kind of thing from Amazon, but I have ColourPop bronzers and blushes and highlights in here. So I'm going to use this one up here, which is Private Party. It's a really nice bronzer. It has, um, it's a nice shade, especially for my skin tone, but I like it because it has a touch of luminosity. Actually gonna use this one down here. I think this is the one from um, Kathleen Light's collection. I need space. I think it is. It's a nice like mauvey toned blush, but it has also like a, a hint of shimmer in it, which is my favorite type of blushes. Because I don't really use a lot of highlight. Sometimes I do, but not often. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my face, and then I'll be right back. All right, hopefully I fixed the lighting issue because I think it was going light and dark back and forth. I don't know what it was doing. All right, so that is it as far as my makeup goes. Um, I think I'm just gonna leave the lips like that because I, ugh, yeah, I'm not gonna put anything on. I just don't on a regular basis. I just don't. I usually use like the like any type of lip gloss, but I actually don't have my lip gloss here. It's 10.53 right now, so we're going to put it to the test starting, let's just say it's 11 o'clock, and then I'll do a midway check-in for you guys. So for now, um, I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, so this is me standing in front of a window. I'm in my living room right now, um, and this is how the foundation looks. I absolutely love the way it looks. It looks, like, really healthy. I didn't even put any highlight or anything, but it looks like I'm healthy. It doesn't look like I'm dry or dehydrated or anything <laughs> sometimes i feel like i look like that like just pale and disgusting <laughs> um but it looks pretty good and this this is all just natural lighting i'm sorry that my lighting downstairs is kind of like in and out um but yeah this is more of a stable lighting and this is on my iphone so no like special camera even though my camera doesn't have like a filter or anything um i feel like iphones usually show more detail but this is how it looks immediately after applying it. I did spray it with the Pacifica water spray at the end just to kind of seal everything in. And that actually is a very hydrating primer water as well. So yeah, that's what it looks like right now. I'll check with you guys in like about four hours and then at the end, let you guys know what I think. Hey guys, so it is 317, 318. And so it's been about a little bit over four hours and this is how my skin is looking right now with the foundation. I honestly like the way it looks. It doesn't look drying. It looks really nice and healthy, glowing. My nose is a little shiny, but not so much. Not something that I feel like I need to blot or anything. So, so far so good. And I actually don't feel it on my face. They were not lying when they said kind of like a lightweight foundation so it feels really good on my skin right now and like i said i don't feel like i need to blot i don't feel like i need to do anything with it so i actually haven't even been touching it or feeling it 
it feels really good so that is your quick check-in four hour check-in and next time i'll see you guys in back in my studio and let you guys know my final thoughts hey guys so i'm back it is 7 16 so it's been what at least eight hours yes because we started at 11 so at least eight hours and this is how it looks right now it definitely feels like i need to blot and like set my foundation again but it doesn't bother me like it throughout the whole day i felt like it was very lightweight and it wasn't really budging or moving around so i actually did enjoy wearing it now it's not a foundation that i would wear for special events or if I needed to wear it for eight hours and want it to look good, um, I definitely think it looked its best for at least six hours, which is still says a lot because usually I wear my foundations for six hours. Eight hours is really pushing it. Um, but today I had to work and I didn't get home until right now. So I'd say if you've been looking into more like dewy foundations, this is a really good one. I, like I said, it doesn't move around. It's a lot more luminous than I would say the Born to Glow. Honestly, if I had to pick my favorite, it would probably be this one. But this one, if you guys have been wanting to check it out, I mean, the price is not bad. And I don't think you can go wrong with it. Like I said, my, ba my shade is in golden beige. And I think the shade worked pretty well as well. For a dewy foundation at oily skin, I think this one didn't disappoint. Hopefully this video helps you guys out in deciding whether or not to look into it. But I, I actually did enjoy it. If you guys have any more questions in regards to this foundation that maybe I didn't touch bases on, please leave those questions in the comment section below. I always love receiving comments. You guys know that I reply to every... Um, comment that you guys leave even if it's a compliment or any question i always try my best to respond so leave those comments down in the section below and yeah that is it for now i will see you guys in my next video bye